Hello and welcome to the David Wilson Out and About YouTube channel. Today I'm a bit further afield. I'm still in the county of Kent but I'm 45 minutes away from home in East Kent. I'm currently two kilometres outside the village of Wye. Uh, please forgive me on this video if I call it Way. I keep sort of slipping into that habit. At, uh, I'm parked up in a place called Cold Harbour Road. It's a nice little car park with a kissing gate for the start of the walk directly opposite. It's a very, very bright day as you can see. Um, it's currently about 8.30 in the morning, very, very sunny, uh, but don't let that fool you. It is absolutely freezing. Uh, I got caught out this morning. I got up very early to come here and um, it was minus one or two. Obviously the vehicle was frozen up, so it took me a little bit longer to get on the road. It's currently round about two, three degrees. Um, very fresh, but uh, beautiful out as, as you can see. I may have a little bit of trouble with my filming because the sun is very low in the sky, so I can't film into the sun, so I get what I get. Anyway, the walk is approximately about, well, it's about seven miles. Um, it's partly on the North Down Way and uh, partly in the Y Nature Reserve or Y National Nature Reserve. We're taking in viewpoints such as the Devil's Needing Trough and Y Crown. So um, it should be a very, very interesting and pretty walk. So um, yeah, if you fancy, come along with me. So let's get going. less than five minutes into my walk and I'm confronted with that absolutely spectacular view. Absolutely awesome. I suppose I better get on with the walk. I've uh, literally only got about a quarter of a mile. I just stop in and film and it's just uh, such a beautiful place to be. I just don't want to walk past things. very uneven ground here so I've got to be careful where I'm stepping. I've come off the main path to cut down and uh, get the maximum view. I'm just going to show you around from here without trying to get into the sun too much. Just checking my Garmin E-Trex 22X. I've mapped my own route um, out here, but I've already gone well off of it because I'm basically diving down like a little schoolboy trying to take in the views. But it's all good. I've got to go up this hill. Oh. And then I'm, if I turn left, I'm back on my original route. Oh, that is one steep climb. Oh. Well, I'm on the nature trail now. I'm following more or less a waymarked path. Um, I'm off my original route that I plotted on the Garmin, but that's not really a problem because this is so well waymarked. I do check the Garmin and I know exactly where I am. So uh, that's uh, the thing about that bit of kit. Even if you just go wandering, you just check where you are on it as compared to where you should be 
where you were so um it's not a, a major issue absolutely beautiful day i'm probably gonna have to strip off a layer in a minute Well, oh, time to strip off that layer, I think. It's not that it's over warm, warm. The temperature's only supposed to get to about eight degrees today. It's just the walking uphill and downhill and the bright sunshine. So uh, I'll do, discard that layer and see how I feel after I've had a cup of coffee. Very, very hazy. I don't know how this footage is coming out today. I'm really, really struggling to record. The sun is so low and the mist, there's like a haze everywhere. So I'm just, I'm just doing my best and see what I get. Beautiful walk all the same. Wow, that is some absolutely gorgeous and spectacular view. I can see from absolute miles. You've got Dungeness Power Station. Over on the left, there's a stone with a sign on here. So Dungeness is over there. Romney Marsh Wind Farm over there. I'll pan around in a minute and show you this. I'm just trying to keep the camera out the sun at the moment. Straight ahead. It's a bit hazy, but there's Hastings Fairlight Cliffs. Well, Brook Village, Old Mill. Kings North, Ashford over there, Kings Wood at the far end and Way Village is more or less straight ahead. So what I'll do, I'll get the camera and I'll pan round and uh, give you a quick look. Once again, a quick uh, gander at my Garmin, just to check that I'm not so much I'm on my trail, but that uh, I know where I am. And now it's all downhill, as you can see. I'll just get to this edge here and I'll uh, pan round and give you a, a look while we're still high up. I'm actually back on my original track now, but I'm absolutely amazed. As I said, I plotted this on uh, on a map, downloaded it to my Garmin as a uh, GPX file, and this is really, really windy. And yet it's sort of showing me the wrong way, and as I turn a corner, it, it tells me I'm on the right way. So obviously it's just uh, a matter of following this path, zigzagging downhill, down the steps, till it straightens out, and hopefully the uh, map will start showing true again also i must set the time out on my screen on the garmin it's far too short i'm trying to look at it and it goes into screensaver another little job when i get home see now again it's showing me going the wrong way but as i turn left here i'll be back on the path very strange.
I'm now back on my original route that I planned and I'm walking through some dense woodland. It's nice and cool in here. Makes a change from that blazing sunshine back there, but uh, shouldn't complain. It's quite slippery underfoot in here. I'm having to be extremely careful. It's quite muddy. Obviously it doesn't get an awful lot of sunshine in here. A lot of the leaves are down and it's quite damp. So um, I'm basically walking along, checking my footing every step. Not quite, not quite the walk I intended. So I well and truly gone off track, but as I said earlier, I know where I am. I'm still on the Y National Nature Trail at the moment, but uh, shortly I'll be turning right, crossing over Cold Harbour Road and joining the uh, North Downs Way. So uh, I've already been on the North Downs Way, I'm sort of switching backwards and forwards, but for the last hour or so I've actually more or less been on the Nature Trail. Unfortunately, I can't film behind me. I'll show you the way I have come because uh, it's just basically directly into bright sunlight. So I'll just be a, a whiteout, massively overexposed. Doing the best I can. Oh, that's steep. Oh, well, I'm nearly at the top of the hill. Um, I've just been looking at my navigation device and um, I'm having to make a decision. I'm looking at the distance I want to cover and then walk back, because this is sort of like a circle, then along for a, a mile or so, then a mile or so back, and then back towards the car. And unfortunately, because I got slightly later start and with the filming with the stopping and starting with the filming i'm not sure if i can get there and back before dark because it's now getting dark at 4 p.m uh, i think i'm sort of thinking of the the summer because the sun's out i'm walking along thinking oh i've got all the daylight in the world and i certainly haven't so um what i'm going to do i'm going to complete a circuit and unfortunately i'm going to leave out way crown but as unfortunate as that is that's another visit um, sometimes I overestimate or underestimate, sorry, the distances and the time it takes to film and the traffic and, and the rest of it. So, um, yeah, anyway, we'll carry on the walk. I've had a bit of a rest coming up this hill. So I'm about three quarters of the way up and, uh, I'll do a bit more filming when I get to the top.
excuse my heavy breathing. I seem to have been going uphill, steep uphill on this woodland path forever. And it's not ended yet. That is one steep hill. I think I'm only about halfway up. It's uh, basically a, a woodland path, which is not as bad as it could be, but it's quite muddy, covered in leaves. So I'm trying to walk up a, an incline like that, and it's just constant and, and bending. Checking the sat nav, the uh, sorry, the Garmin, and. Uh, I'm about three quarters of the way up, but I've had to stop. I'm absolutely out of breath. This is a real test for my uh, chest. I mean, I suppose earlier on, on the walk, I was going downhill at a really steep descent. So it's Sod's Law. If I'm coming around in a circle, sooner or later I've got to come back up. But uh, what a way to do it. It's not gravel, it's not uh, through fields, it's up through a dirt path through the woods. Anyway, never mind. I've had a little drink of water, I've had my whinge. I'm going to crack on up the hill. Now that was one hell of a climb. I'm glad I'm at the top. Now I'm walking along the flat for a bit. Um, I'm off route, my original route now, as I said earlier, I'm cutting it short, but uh, I haven't even stopped for lunch yet, so what I'm going to do, I believe somewhere in here, further down, there's a visitor's car park, much further back from the one I parked in, where there's actual benches, so I'll, I'll sit there and have my sandwich and my coffee and just chillax for... 20 minutes or so. Right, I'll show you the views in front. Okay, I'll admit it. I was going the wrong way, so I didn't show you the views in front. I'm only about 100 meters out off my track. I turned right instead of left. Oh, it looks the same in the woods. Simple as. Well, that's where I went wrong. I came up from the left here. That was that very steep ascent up through the woods. I turned right instead of turning left. I go along here for a little way, I'm just checking the map, and then I turn right and go back up again. Up another bloody hill. I suppose the thing is, if you don't like hills, move to the Netherlands. Right, well I'm now back on the North Downs way. I've finally finished that hill. Um, I'll be cutting a lot of that fit footage because I'm sure you don't want to see an old man dying. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that bad, I did have to, have to stop, but uh, what you expect, I'm elderly now. The Cold Arbor Road's just to my left, so I'm more or less running parallel with it, and I, I'll be going well directly into the sun for a while now, so I won't be able to record. But um, I believe further up there's a car park, and there's a picnic area uh, past that, and a viewing point as well. So I'll go to that, I'm gonna have my sandwich and a cup of coffee. Uh, go to the viewing point, see what it looks like, see what views I've got. And then um, I'll be heading on back down to my vehicle. But uh, I'll bring you back when I'm at the picnic bench or the viewing point. Going back into the sunshine again.
Well, it looks like uh, I'm heading back out into open fields again now, so I'm finally out of the woods. Back out into the sunshine. Uh, time for a coffee, I think. My purple flask out. The flask I found in the back of a kitchen cupboard at home when I was having a clear out, and it's lavender. And uh, it's been in the back of that cupboard for years. It's actually my late wife's flask. I recently broke, broke my other one, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's not exactly my colour, but it does the trick for keeping the coffee hot. So that's all that matters to me. Not a bad colour. Lavender. Could have been pink. I don't do pink. Once again, I'm using my little... Um, collapsible cup that's a knockoff of the seed to summit twice the weight collapses it's got a little stand on the top and uh, a little cover which is handy from when you've used it and can't wash up like now so it stops it dripping coffee everywhere and that coffee was made at 6 a.m. and it's now about uh, one, I believe. Let's have a look. Now it's 12:30, and it's still very hot. Drinkable. It's not going to burn your lips, but very hot. So they'd have a good few more hours in it. So that's uh, not a bad little flask, in all fairness. All right, time for my sandwich. A bit of a philistine here. Unfortunately, I had to. Uh, dash out this morning and pick up a ready-made one which uh, I detest doing to be honest because I, I didn't have any fresh bread I'd rather have my own bread indoors and obviously all this plastic and paper but it is what it is I needed something to eat I didn't have any breakfast I was out the door as quick as I could and then as I said earlier I had to de-ice the car and you know all that sh shenanigans this morning that's the first time I've had to do that, so I'll be a bit more prepared next time. I'm just looking down at the what was Millstone viewpoint, which I believe again I've taken another detour to, to visit, and that is actually more or less our starting point earlier, where I was actually taking in the views over the uh, Devil's Trough or whatever it's called. So. Um, yeah, I've literally cut out the one of the car parks and the car park I'm parked at, I can literally see my vehicle. It's probably about three, 300, 350 metres away. So I'm nearly back. All right, starving. No, I'm not starving, hungry. Absolutely stunning here. Lovely and quiet, even though the roads over there, it's uh, not very busy. And I've just got views for miles over the Devil's Needing Trough. I will try, as when I leave to go back to the uh, vehicle, I will try and film into the sun and see what I get. But I, I don't hold much hope. It really, what's happened originally, the sun was over there when I started this morning and I was trying to do most of my filming <laughs> this way and then now 
it's bang slap in the middle of the trough and the surrounding landscape which means filming it was it's probably impossible the only thing i will say i mean um doing this walk today has been a good recce and, and as i said unfortunately i really don't feel i've got the time or i'm up to doing way crown that's that's a fairly hilly part as well and it's, it's quite a way down that way but now i've got a lay of the land what i would do on a winter's day because i'm not being funny filming is much easier in the winter if it's not raining because you tend to have one color dull and it just uh, the camera adjusts and, and you get the the views so what i'll do i'll park in the same place refilm this bit so that the devil's troughs completely in view okay some of the trees will be bare but it's just a different season and then i'll carry on the walk to uh y crown and back so it, it's given me a incentive to come back here it's absolutely stunning here i've been doing a recce all, all the way all the way i've been walking for, for potentially other things which i won't go into much detail on film but uh i've been having a very good look around in the woods and, and places uh it is a really really stunning place this has been on my bucket list for two years obviously we've had eight, we had 18 months of the covid anyway and then um when we came out the covid i sort of dived off for my bigger projects like couple of weeks in Scotland and, and the um, Cumbria doing a uh, kayaking on I can't remember it was Coniston and then more recently going down to the West Country for uh, a week so I've sort of done my big things and I've left my little things out but then I why not because this is this is 45 miles away it took me an hour this morning to get here um, whereas obviously if I'm driving to Scotland it's a 10 hours 12 hour drive it's a, a long way and even going down to Dartmoor is, is sort of five five and a half hours and that's if the traffic's light so it was probably wise to do do it the way I did now I can sort of pick off the walks and if I can get some wild camping in all well and good um, I'm not adverse to a bit of winter camping I'm actually looking I've been YouTubing all over the place and I've really got it in my head now to get myself a hot tent and a stove for the winter but uh i see i see how it goes i really am sort of i, I do that and then there, there's so many other things i need i need a new pc at the moment a new laptop because i'm i'm struggling with the 4k footage so um it just takes forever to actually edit and produce a video whereas if i can get a an all singing all dancing couple of thousand pound laptop but that's that's just a, a tool it's not what you want you know you, you want your tents and you want your your walking equipment but <laughs> hey ho if you're going to make your videos you just got to splash out the cash right well what i'm going to do i'm going to round the video up here because like i said filming that away is probably going to be impossible um it's been an absolutely wonderful walk my legs are burning a bit <laughs> uh, going down here was just as bad as coming up but well worth doing i feel oh mate i feel alive so um yeah plenty plenty more of it um so if you like this video please give it the thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel every little bit helps bye for now <laughs>